Although you might not hear much of Elon Musk's insane Hyperloop project, the boring company that is heavily involved in the building of the Hyperloop in the US is making impressive moves recently. The company is developing new machinery, building more tunnels and expanding its famous Las Vegas Loop. In this video, we take a look at the progress made by the boring company in perhaps one of the biggest projects in the world right now. According to Musk, it will take about $7.5 billion to complete the Hyperloop, including the vehicle transportation system. Still, the boring company aims to make Musk's dreams a reality and will start working on building an operational Hyperloop in the coming years. Also, the company is not going to be hard-pressed for funds to complete its tunneling projects. During its Series C funding round, it raised $675 million, bringing the company's valuation to $5.67 billion. In a press release, it disclosed that the funds would be used to scale current and upcoming loop projects by increasing hiring across different sectors like engineering, production, and operations. It will also aid the development of Proofrock 3, a model faster and more efficient than its predecessors. Now, every project still has its ups and downs. The company filed paperwork with the Texas Commission of Environmental Seeking Permission to dump 142 to 500 gallons of treated water per day into the Colorado River. Residents were quick to raise objections about the matter, saying that no kind of wastewater should be dumped in the Texas water supply. It's not unusual for companies like TBC to make such a request, but the company didn't release any statements explaining what it means by treated water and how treated the water is going to be. The Boring Project Elon Musk and The Boring Company have been busy improving their technology and winning contracts. The company is in talks with Alamo City officials to develop an underground transit tunnel combining San Antonio International Airport with the city's downtown area. There is still a lot of complications surrounding the approval considering that the construction will cost upward of $290 million and requires government approval. In 2021, the company was awarded a contract to build a tunnel connecting downtown Florida to the beach. However, its signature project is the Las Vegas Loop. In 2019, the Las Vegas Convention Center Visitors Authority awarded TBC a $48.7 million contract to create an underground transportation system. Approval for the project was given by Clark County, and by February 2020, the first tunnel was completed underneath the West Hall of the Convention Center. Clark County later approved TBC to construct a tunnel system connecting the LVCC to casinos along the Strip. Ella Giant Stadium, Harry Reid International Airport, downtown Las Vegas and eventually Los Angeles. The Convention Center Loop consists of three stations at the West, South and Central Halls connected by two bi-directional tunnels running parallel to each other. This has been in operation for over a year, taking passengers to different areas of the Convention Center by using chauffeured Teslas. The second tunnel linking Resorts World to LVCC has been completed, however it does not connect to the first loop. It runs from the hotel under Las Vegas Boulevard, then under Elvis Presley Boulevard, and ends at the new Riviera Station at the northwestern point of the Convention Center and one block away from the Convention Center West Station. This is a unidirectional tunnel, and at the moment it will only take passengers to different exhibition halls at the Convention Center. Since it is a one-way tunnel, passengers can only go in one direction at a time with an expected travel time of two to four minutes. Phase two will involve the expansion of a unidirectional tunnel from the Convention Center Riviera Tunnel to the West Station, and phase three will then connect the Resort World Tunnel to the Verse Conventional Center Loop. The third phase is expected to start soon and will be completed in 2023. The system is designed to transport up to 4,000 people per hour across the Convention Center, but the loop isn't there yet as the highest number of passengers transported so far is 1,355. Once the lube is completed, the company is targeting a throughput of up to 57,000 passengers per hour on the 29-mile 51-station Vegas loop. The Boring Self-Driving Fleet Steve Hill, the CEO of the Las Vegas Convention Center, shared details regarding the self-driving Tesla fleet for the Las Vegas tunnel. Elon Musk said on AI Day that the FSD beta software would be ready for wide public release by the end of the year, giving its vehicles the ability to operate through any situation. The tunnels were built specifically for self-driving Tesla vehicles. By the end of this year or sometime next year, the tunnels will be serviced by driverless high-capacity cars driving from one station to another swiftly. This would not happen suddenly, as the cars will be switched to the full self-driving system one at a time. 
During this process, safety drivers will still be in place to ensure that the vehicles can perform adequately on their own and once they have been proven, they will be removed completely. The pandemic pushed officials to stop the introduction of high-capacity vehicles as a means of transport, using the Tesla instead to carry three passengers at a time. Once the FSD is safely implemented and the system expands, Tesla's RoboVan is expected to be used in the tunnels. The RoboVan can easily be configured to carry either humans or cargo or both, so designing a version of the loop system won't be a problem for the boring company. Tesla will focus on developing the RoboVan after the Cybertruck, Semi and Roadster. The RoboVan will be constructed using the Cybertruck's platform and Elon Musk commented on this three years ago telling Jay Leno that the size of the Cybertruck will be reduced by 3% so that it can fit the boring tunnels. The boring company is gradually making the idea of a futuristic underground system a reality. It will take some time for the Hyperloop to be fully functional, but it will happen eventually. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.